everybody good morning good afternoon good evening whatever time of day you're watching today sasha here and um yeah different viewpoint right i'm back at the other desk and um yeah folks i wanted to try out this webcam see how it looks um the quality is not going to be as good as my phone because um yeah, it definitely took a hit in that department, but I'll iron out the kinks as I go along. But I will be trying to shoot more um, here than um, the other desk if I can help it. But yeah, y'all, um, like I said before, as I wipe the crust out of my eyes, <laughs> I just got up. Um, a little while earlier and um, still kind of sleepy I don't know maybe I should have waited uh, but nonetheless y'all um, yeah today is actually Thursday but this is for Wellness Wednesday's episode um, you might be looking at my display here my partial display it's not everything but and you're like Sasha what's going on what are you doing well, for Wellness Wednesday, I wanted to talk about uh, basically the beauty of Dr. Bronner's uh, products and um, basically how I went from the usual soap, uh, you know, like your usual body wash, like Dial, Dove, um suave uh sometimes i would go up on the fancy stick and you know get the ones at like bath and body works but i really do like castile soap now and um i'll tell you the reason for that being it i have fewer i'm not gonna say it's completely absolved but i have fewer um, skin uh, reactions I suppose while on Dr. Bronner's products I initially tried the peppermint scented Castile soap y'all and um, the peppermint scent would last but like you know once I step out in Florida immediately sweat so like if you're looking for something scented um and if you're in a humid area like the southeast especially during now with um the hottest months of the year like i said before um the scent ain't gonna last but what i have here y'all is pretty much the majority of their baby unscented line and um the beauty of this these products is that you know if you have a favorite perfume if you you know have a dermatological reaction or allergic reaction to some products in you know your conventional soap soaps and body washes then you definitely want to go here um yeah the crazy thing with dr bronner's um i have like this is their 32 ounce or 900 oh well, y'all can't see yeah the setup is kind of janky y'all but forgive me but this is let me see if i can Lift it up and show y'all. This is the usual 32 ounce or 946 uh, milliliter bottle of Castile soap. Um, and he has, or his company rather, has this like really, really immaculate. Um, philosophy and um like dilution 
dilution um, step instruction and um, yeah I never read this but uh, these bottles they're not the largest though y'all because like you can get a half gallon of the Castile soap for Ooh, what is it like thirty something dollars or no no it can't be that like sixty dollars it's up there but like that half gallon will probably last you like a year um maybe even more if you just use it as like your body wash or something but the beauty of Castile soap, y'all, is that it it's so versatile in use. You can use it as an all-purpose cleaner. You can use it as a fruit and veggie cleaner. Um, of course, body wash. You can use it as a like a plant protectant. Um insecticide a dog or a pet wash well really dog wash a dog wash is just so many uses that um, come with these bottles dish soap let me tell you when I was working in Orlando and I was traveling frequently back and forth I would use um, this is the travel size this is a uh, two ounce yeah, two ounce or 59 milliliter. See, I don't have to move the camera for this one. Uh, two ounce, 59 milliliter. And that was my body wash and dish soap and um, face wash when I ran out of my face product. And um, yeah, it was pretty out of sight. This bottle here would last me two and a half weeks two and a half weeks and that's I'm a big girl and I use it for more than just body wash so take that into perspective and right here y'all you can see that they have um, the bar soap so if you really like bar soap you really take to bar soap definitely would recommend that you take them up on that uh the only thing is i forget how much it costs i think it's like three or four dollars for one bar soap but like i said uh you can cut up the bar soap and uh make it into a soap cream and you know it shares the same property as the um liquid uh castile soap so I mean, you have these on hand, and you're pretty much good to go, too. Um, I will tell y'all, though, I do have, like, okay, as you see right here, I guess I can take you. Uh, okay, so this is the largest that I have, but it's not the largest that they sell. 32 ounce going down one step this is the 16 ounce or um, 473 milliliters this is the 8 ounce or 237 milliliters for oops sorry y'all 4 ounce or 118 milliliters and then the two ounce or the 57 59 excuse me the 59 milliliter okay so yeah it ranges like pretty much in multiples of um two and um it goes all the way up to a gallon um there's also like the bar soap this what I'm holding is their shaving soap in the unscented I wanted to try to veer from using um, 
Nair too much. I like Nair because I don't cut myself. Uh, but with shaving, um, you know, it's quicker. Like if I just want to do my underarms, you know, I just lather some of this up and um, use my razor. Now, yeah, I did say that these Castile soaps can also double as shaving gel or shaving liquid. But, um, I mean, they were selling this, so I was like, why not? <laughs> and, like, if I run out of this and I can't find it, well, that shouldn't be a case because um, Dr. Bronner's has their own established website where you can get all, this, all these products that I'm showing y'all. But also, I got a lot of these from Amazon and Target, Walmart. Um, you could definitely find it in one of those um, type of stores. And try, you know, try your local grocer or your health food store. Um, this is pretty much high quality organic um, reliably resourced um, and eco-friendly sustainable product that they really do pride themselves on it um, I would also say right here which was kind of out of the frame their organic magic balm uh, what you could use this for is like dry cracking skin um, also, uh, helps with diaper rash. Um, I'm trying to think of what else. There's a, a scented version that uses Arnica menthol. And I have two of those. That's like your Vicks Vapor Rub. So you use that if you're feeling a bit congested. But this is like for dry skin and whatnot. And then also, folks, I didn't feel like taking it out the package, but they do have their own lip balm. The Naked... Wait, I'm not pointing to the right one. The Naked Organic Lip Balm is pretty much falls within this line and then the others. Um, you have Lemon Lime, that's the green. Peppermint, that's the blue. Orange Ginger, that is the orange, duh. <laughs> and then there was a limited edition cherry blossom in which i purchased so this folks i wish i could show y'all but there's like little to no room on this thing so folks um this line um i have with me uh i don't know the prices because, like I said, I got them, like, I can tell you, this I got from Amazon. This was, like, $10, I believe, 11, $10, $11. And then this I got from Walmart. This was, like, $3, $4. This I got from Amazon. Um, this was, like, $10, $11 as well. This I got from Target. And it was two dollars. It may be, it may seem like a little, like and expensive at two dollars, but folks, you don't use a lot of this stuff. You use like drops at a time for a body wash and for dish washing and for face washing. Um, you do not use a lot. You, it's like it comes out in drops, and then like you just lather it up with the um your shower sponge or whatever you use to bathe with your rag so yeah this lasted like two and a half weeks i like i have um the different scents and whatnot they have of course i said peppermint they have lavender you know i would highly recommend that if you want to um wind down and help go to sleep, help relax you to get to sleep easier they have a lavender one they have a eucalyptus one i like the scent of eucalyptus um 
<laughs> yeah, I said peppermint. I, I'm so fixated on peppermint, y'all. But, um, lavender, peppermint, eucalyptus, uh, tea tree oil. Like, if I have any, like, breakouts or, um, just like itchy skin or whatever, I opt for the tea tree oil. Um, what else? Uh, the two limited edition scents, which is green tea and um, cherry blossom. And then, shucks, y'all. At, at, and those limited edition fla uh, not flavors, <laughs> the limited edition um, scents, they were, or they might still be available, but they are definitely springtime, around springtime. So they might not be available now if you go on Dr. Bronner's website. But some folks still may be selling it. Um, I think that's, pretty much it y'all I'm not sure and then um with there we go with um I'm like I'm naming most of the tea or most of the tea tree oil um uh, well I got the computer on I can look at it right now let's see y'all are getting moved Y'all are getting moved all over the place. I apologize. And then I can't even see. That's right, y'all. I gotta work out the kinks. Oh, and speaking of, I forgot. Another use... Another use of this is, um... Toothpaste. You could put a drop or two on your toothbrush. And if you, like, if you run out of toothpaste, it don't taste like, you know... It doesn't taste good, but <laughs> if you're in a pinch, um, yeah, definitely go for it. <laughs> okay, so yeah, I'm looking at the um, scents right now. So there's, yeah, they they aren't selling the, they aren't selling the um, cherry blossom and the green tea anymore because it's out of stock. It was only for springtime. So I managed to get some bottles. And um, they also have almond flavor. Or not flavor. Gosh darn it. Um, almond scent. Citrus orange scent. Uh, and then rose. Hemp rose. Um, I will tell y'all right now. My favorite scents. Is tea tree well not so much the scent of tea tree but the functionality of tea tree it's tea tree oil is good as a antibacterial and um i use that for when i have like really bad breakouts in the skin and whatnot and on the face um of course peppermint i like the scent of peppermint um, eucalyptus, and then I like the, like, rose I think had a good scent too, but I haven't used it yet, and then also, y'all, if you're really curious about, um, if you're really curious about cast, or Castile soap, check out Walmart's, or maybe a store's brand, like, before you... Because Dr. Bronner is a household name. So, like, it may be, like, expensive. And, um, you're not sure about Castile soap yet. Which is understandable. I get you. Um, so, I would say, if you're really curious, y'all. Um, I know Walmart does their own Castile soap only in Peppermint. And lavender but it's very very cheap I think you can get a 30 <clears throat> excuse me like a 32 ounce or the biggest bottle I have you can get this for like 
think ten dollars while I'm here I'll I'll see <laughs> that's the beauty of you know being able to look up stuff on the fly but yeah the equate is very very cheap um and then also while I'm looking that up I can tell you right now yeah like it's 987 for a 32 ounce and then Walmart has $15.99 for a 32 ounce. So I mean like you save you saving some coin. You saving five dollars. And like the 16 ounce, y'all. The 16 ounce is the size of a 32 ounce. Um so Dr. Bronner's 16 ounce is ten dollar, like nine ninety seven, and they're thirty two ounces, um, fifteen ninety nine. Equate is um, nine eighty seven for a thirty two ounce, and they do sell sixteen ounce, but um, I'm not sure. I had, like I bought it, I bought it in threes. Yeah, you can get a three pack, sixteen ounce, for eleven dollars and thirty five cents. I'm looking at the website right now. So yeah, if you're very interested to, uh oh, sorry y'all, uh oh, didn't mean to do that either. But if you're very interested in trying, um, ah, what is this? If you're very interested in trying Castile soap, let me get y'all how it was. Oh, shoot. <laughs> okay. Y'all should be alright now. So, if you're very interested in trying Castile soap, um, unfortunately, with Walmart's brand, they do not have an unscented if you're, um, skin is very sensitive but definitely I would give them a try like you can always dilute it or go with the lavender um, peppermint can be irritating to the skin because of the menthol compounds within the scents but lavender not so much but there are there can be instances where someone is allergic to lavender so, I mean, if you know you are allergic to lavender and um, peppermint, then just jump straight into Dr. Bronner's. Um, there's also Dr. Woods. And, um, okay, yeah, I guess the, I don't know when it cut me off, but one last thing before... I let y'all go is that um, to take into consideration with the unscented or the baby the baby unscented Castile variety from Dr. Bronner's and just in general uh, one youtuber who you know was talking about the beauty of Dr. Bronner's Castile soap also mentioned that um, she likes to mix in her own scents and um infuse it with the castile soap and i'm like with the unscented castile soap but i'm like wow i never thought you could do that but yeah you basically you basically um they gave you the castile soap you could just infuse your own scents into it and folks um on amazon it just occurred to me on Amazon um, there's another I think this company also works with um, or their company's products are uh, on different like storefronts 
but on Amazon I saw this company um, Sky Organics and um, they have like um, they combine Castile soap scents like I'm right right now I'm using peppermint tea tree and I love the smell of peppermint and then I like the functionality of tea tree so that's a win-win and I never would have thought to have done that but lo and behold you could um, and then they also have a pina colada a pina colada um, Castile scented Castile soap so I mean the with this line in particular y'all the possibilities are endless so um, yeah if I had to recommend you know if you get into using Castile soap definitely um, consider using this if you know you have like extremely sensitive skin if you don't if you don't but are still curious and you don't really want to break the bank then try um, Kirk's Coco Castile or Walmart brand Equates Castile soap um, Kirk's Coco has um, original fresh scent and then they have a fragrance free uh, bar and um, body wash and then Equate only has the liquid Castile soap so if you wanted to try bar then Kirk's and you don't want to break bank I mean you could try Dr. Bronner's or Coke's Coco Castile but yeah y'all I just wanted to talk about you know Dr. Bronner's line um this isn't everything y'all this is not everything let me tell you um I haven't showed y'all the toothpaste I do use their toothpaste. Um, there's South Suds, in which I do use for the house. So I don't um, dip into my personal Castile soap. Um, they do have hand sanitizer, but that's been flying off the shelves. Um yeah I didn't like I could have bought it but you know I I had hand sanitizer so hopefully you got yours too if you can I see them more on the shelves now um, I know my target had a bit of um, hand sanitizers but like the travel size so like just get whatever you can and keep that on hand um, they do have lotion, but it's not unscented lotion, so, it's like pretty much the same thing as the lip balm, except they don't have a, a naked lip balm, or naked lotion, they just have, in place of it, they have, um, lavender lotion, and it's not lemon lime, it's patchouli lime. So there you go. Um, they have a citrus hair rinse, but I wouldn't use it because my hair is a bit different. And then they have um, lavender. So yeah, y'all, this camera is being real finicky. I'm going to go ahead and close off. I gotta see what's wrong with this camera but yeah y'all that's pretty much Dr. Bronner's line um I got a good number of stuff but not everything and that's pretty much what I've been swearing on up and down so um yeah y'all thank you very much for tuning in really appreciate you stopping on by y'all know the deal any questions comments suggestions or small talk don't be a stranger Leave it in the comment section below. Any and all are welcome. Greatly appreciated. Love to hear your thoughts and opinions on the products that I try and the reviews I push out. Uh, yeah, let me know if you've tried or you're using Dr. Bronner's soap. Um, I think it is a wonderful product. Um, I really 
now that you know I just thought about it um, I would wonder what kind of sense that I could you know conjure up I guess with the unscented line but yeah I, I, I stand by this um, and yeah folks this is going to be fun to edit because the camera kept cutting off or you know it's real finicky if I try to minimize this and it stops recording I think that might be the case but y'all gotta start from somewhere and um yeah I will see you later on today real talk it is Thursday I will see you later on today for this tasting of Thirsty Thursday in which I am kind of curious as to um how this product will taste and um uh, yeah we'll get into it so yeah folks I'm gonna go ahead edit upload and I got some stuff to do in between time so I will see you lovely lads and lassies in the next episode so until then my friends take care take it easy make it a great day today and every day be safe stay vigilant don't go out unless you necessarily have to if you do wear a mask and um have hand sanitizer on deck please practice social distancing and um uh, yeah let's continue to stay safe out here um yeah this uh virus uh you know at some pr at a certain point i just stop i just stop watching the news because it's like it's something going on and um uh, it's not gonna get better it's right now it's not gonna get better it's gonna get worse before it gets better like it's been said before but yeah that would be it um so see you for the next video thirsty thursday and um yeah folks until then this is sasha signing off and bye now